Hello, everybody. Chris Porter live here in Orlando at Camping World Stadium. We're at 7 o'clock. About 30 minutes from now, the Range Vikings will defend their state title against the same team they beat last year, the Coco Tigers. But joining me now is a man who has worn this jersey, uh, a, a guy's whose name I've heard many, many times this week when talking to the team, NFL Hall of Famer, former Viking, former Eagle, all that good stuff. Brian Dawkins. Brian, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Number one, your team is on the field. I know you're a big-time fan of your school. How you feeling? I'm feeling very excited about this because obviously we've been here, we've done it before, and I think that these young men know what it takes to win the game. It's not, it's going to, not going to be easy. There's going to be ups and downs. And, but you, when you go through something like this, when you go through a championship run and you have success with it, you know how to handle those downs to be able to get back up to pull it out in the end. Uh, when I was over earlier this week, as I said, this top of the sports cast, a lot of guys were talking about what it means to wear that jersey, guys like yourself who won that jersey uh, and, and how special that is for them. What does that mean to you to hear these younger folks saying, because of folk like you have played this game, played at their school, it means so much? It's a tremendous honor because I had that same feeling about those who come before me, right? So the same legacy that they're talking about that I then represent, I had that same feeling with some of the, like my brother and those who came before me. So there's a, there's a certain toughness, there's a certain desire, there's a certain grit that when you wear that uniform and you step on that field that you're supposed to represent. And so what these young men are taking that legacy that I've grabbed from somebody else, I grabbed the baton and now these young men are toting this baton and they're doing a great job with it. Speaking of representing, the team also said that they know they're representing not just themselves, but the entire uh, northwest side of Jacksonville. They believe that side of town has gotten a bad rap. Um, what, does it, what does this program mean to northwest Jacksonville? I think it means this for me, and I, I'm, I'm going to only speak for myself when I say this. When you can take some of the things that you grew up in your neighborhood with and you can focus it in the right direction, you can focus some of those same things that would probably get you in trouble. And with athletics and with football, you can actually focus that thing on the field. And when you all are on the same page, that's so much energy and in abundance that these young men are using that's going to propel them to do things in life greater than they probably would had they not had this opportunity. So I guess what I'm saying is that for those individuals who has that extra energy and you may be getting a little something, get, get, on, get on somebody's gridiron, get on somebody's team. So begin to focus that energy in a positive direction, and you may have yourself in this same position, being on this football field, being able to bless others with your talent, but then bless yourself with an education later on. Thank you, Brian Dawkins. We're out of time. You got me want to suit up and play. We're back after this timeout.